There's something weird about this guitar. Hello and welcome to another video with me, Elmo Jekari Alain, and it's good to have you along. Today we are checking out the FGN Odyssey J Standard. Normally I buy the gear that I review so you get an honest review, but this guitar was actually lent to me by a very nice person so that I could check it out on the channel. It's a bit of an older one, but FGN have similar models available at the moment. I had a look on Toman, they don't seem to have this, this exact one, but the one I would compare it to would be uh, the one that costs 999 euros. It has an older body, maple neck, uh, that one has a rosewood fretboard, this one has uh, a maple fretboard. And uh, maple, what you call it, top, <laughs> I forget. <laughs> now a couple of things before we get going. I'll talk about what's weird about this in a second. Like I said, it's an older guitar, so uh, the previous owner had swapped the pickups out for uh, Seymour Duncan's. It's the SH5 that can be split with this switch and uh, two SSL1s. I'm not familiar with the FGN, original FGN pickups and or these, so I can't really say uh, how much that will make a difference in terms of sound. So anything I play in this video take with a pinch of salt, um, it might be a bit different from the original pickups. It also comes with something called CFS, which I'll talk about a bit later, because that's the weird thing. In terms of looks, it looks very nice, as you would expect for something that costs roughly a thousand euros. I don't know what it goes for in the States, you can let me know in the comments. I'm starting out with my Roland Cube clean channel so you get something clean and uh, it's an affordable amp, so, and then I'll try it with the Marshall. <laughs> Oh, and stick around for the whammy bar test. We'll see if this stays in tune when you abuse the whammy bar a bit more. Speaking of the whammy bar, it's, <laughs> I have to read this, an FGN FJTR-S2P. Just a grunge from the Marshall, I have a bit of delay in the loop.
Okay, so before I say or we try the whammy bar, um, the CFS thing is the weird thing about this guitar. I didn't know what CFS was. I didn't even know that it had something called CFS, which means uh, circle fretting system. And uh, this is what the website says when I looked it up. All FGN guitars and basses come with a unique circle fretting system, CFS. Uh, maybe I should do this in rally finish. It was created by FGN based on an idea to offer better pitch and articulation than conventional guitars and basses. All, all frets are installed on fingerboard in slightly curved sh shape so that every string crosses all the frets in 90 degrees. E e to offer a minimum contact of string on a fret and it makes the scale length of every string even while it actually varies on conventional fretting. The CFS is a solution, solution of fretting on a tradi traditional guitar and bass and it offers clearer articulation and tones which give dimensions when you uh, play a chord and also cut through the mix when you play single notes. So when I got this guitar out of the box I tuned it up and played a bit and uh, I didn't know it had CFS and something felt a bit weird. And I don't mean in terms of how it feels. By the way, uh, not a big fan of the U-shape on the neck. But it was like something was off. It felt that way. I don't know if it was in terms of tuning. It, it, it felt weird. Now, this might just be me imagining stuff. It might be that I'm tired. It might be that I haven't picked up a guitar in a week. Or maybe it is the CFS. I don't know. But even still, when I play played it now, now knowing that it has CFS, it feels a bit weird. But I am starting to second guess myself as well. So, I, yeah, I don't know. Take it with a pinch of salt, that as well. And as always, try before you buy. Let's see how it stays in tune. This is how it's in tune now. <laughs> Not entirely, but not too bad. Yeah. So what's the verdict? Well, it's certainly nicely made. The fret ends are nicely rounded off, um, but it's a thousand euros, dollars-ish, so uh, you would expect fairly nice finish. Tuners are nice, vintage style. In theory, it's very nice. And yet, I would rather play this. The Earth Strat, which cost, I think it was 250 euros when I bought it. Sure, the pickups on the Earth, maybe not as nice as these, but still, in terms of feel, I would rather play the Earth. It stayed in tune fairly nicely. Ish. I'm not a big fan of the neck, that's subjective. The CFS, I don't know. I don't know. They, they say it's better intonated, I think they said that. I have no problem playing on a regular guitar. Sure, they're never 100% intonated, but that's no biggie. You compensate. And if you want to go really intonated, you just get true temperament frets, although I don't know who'll install those and... Yeah, I don't know. Well, it's certainly a very nice guitar. I'm not kind of uh, over the moon about it. I've... It's a very nice guitar. I'm sure you won't be disappointed if you get one of these. Well, reasonably sure. But do try before you buy, and that's the same with everything. 
or be sure you can send it back because you never know. Even though it might be a brilliant instrument, it might not just be for you. So always try before you buy. Do check out some budget alternatives here or you can find budget alternatives via the affiliate link below. If you purchase something that way, you help out the channel. Be sure to check out my Patreon, there's a link in the description. You get access to my music lessons and a bunch of exclusives. Other than that, I hope you have a nice day. Take care. See you. Bye.